What's up, Odoers, and welcome back. As you know, there are multiple ways companies can make their products or services available to customers. They could set up an online store and sell their goods on an e-commerce platform. They could also open a physical brick-and-mortar storefront as well, or they could simply have their salespeople do the work. Nowadays, most companies use a combination of all of these proven methods. Today, we're going to show you the basics of the Odoo Sales app, specifically where to find settings and features that make the Odoo Sales the ideal tool for any salesperson. Now, a lot of your revenue generating activity comes from this app, so it's important to know what's what. So let's jump into our database and get into it, shall we? Let's kick things off on our sales app dashboard. By default, Odoo only shows the quotations related to the current user, as indicated by the default filter here in the search bar. When you remove that filter, all the quotations and orders in the database can be seen along with a series of pertinent information related to each one in this default list view. This data can be viewed in different ways by clicking through these different options here on the right side of the page. From here, we can click on the configuration button and then to settings to check out our settings page. Here you'll find options related to our product catalog, pricing, quotations and orders, and the list goes on and on. So if you're looking for a way to customize any element of your sales, this is where you do it. And if you're searching for a more specific way to configure any of those important aspects, you can find links to those elements in the configuration drop-down menu. Now, when we click on the reporting drop-down menu, we see Odoo provides us with a handful of analytical pages dedicated to various aspects of our sales. All these reporting pages, like the main dashboard, provide different view options as well as countless ways to filter and group results to create the ideal analysis report. Be sure to check out our other tutorials and documentation to learn more about that. Next, if we select products and then products once again, you'll find our product page with all the products that you've entered into your database. You can create new ones by clicking new here in the upper left-hand corner or modify existing ones on their individual product page by clicking on their tab. Here is where you'll find tons of fields, tabs, options, buttons, and metrics that you can freely customize and analyze as you see fit. Also, under the products header menu, you'll find links to our product variants, price lists, discounted loyalty, and gift cards and e-wallet options. And don't worry, we have tutorials dedicated to all of those options as well, so stay tuned to learn more. Next, if we click on to invoice, we'll find links to two different pages. One with all the orders we still need invoice, labeled as orders to invoice, and the other with all our upsell orders, labeled as orders to upsell. Lastly, we have our orders header menu here. Here we'll find links to pages dedicated to quotations, orders, sales teams, and customers. And there you have it, Odoers. Those are all the fundamental basics of the sales application. Now you know where to find everything you'll ever need to take your sales to the next level. Stay tuned for more tutorials and check out our documentation to learn even more about Odoo's super useful sales application. Until then, I'll see you soon.